this is so weird. They're so strange. Such a strange, strange animal. Beneath the depths of the sea lies an uncharted world teeming with mysterious creatures waiting to be discovered. Imagine a place so remote, so unexplored, that even our wildest imagination cannot fathom the wonders it holds. It's a place where NASA, known for its space exploration missions, has set its sights on. In this world, darkness reigns, but with the flick of a switch, an extraordinary landscape filled with never-before-seen creatures is unveiled. Today, we'll take a deep dive into the unknown and discover some of the most bizarre creatures and look at why NASA is exploring these parts of the ocean. And of course, we'll hear what Joe Rogan has to say about it all. The mysteries of the ocean's uncharted depths continue to astound and fascinate us. Every year, scientists discover more bizarre and mesmerizing creatures with their fangs, bioluminescence and otherworldly appearances. And the best part? There are still vast areas of the ocean that remain unexplored, with up to 80% of it yet to be charted. In fact, it's mind-boggling to think that we know more about the surface of Mars and the Moon than about the ocean floor on our own planet. Even Joe Rogan, the well-known comedian and podcast host, can't help but marvel at the strange and unknown potential of the ocean, referring to it as a monster soup. Now, NASA is embarking on a daring mission to explore the depths of the ocean, not only to push the limits of science and technology, but also to uncover the secrets of other planets. The dangers are significant, with the risk of implosion looming over the entire endeavour. However, the underwater discoveries made during this mission could prove vital in unlocking the mysteries of outer space and preparing for future missions beyond our solar system. Surprisingly, the depths of the Earth's oceans closely resemble the harsh conditions found on other worlds in our solar system providing clues as to where alien life may exist. The Hadal Zone, the deepest parts of the Earth's oceans named after the Greek god of the underworld, consists of treacherous trenches and troughs that extend 6.8 miles below the ocean's surface. Despite covering an area equivalent to Australia's size, few vehicles can withstand the intense pressure of this dark and foreboding abyss. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California is constructing an autonomous underwater vehicle called Orpheus, named after the Greek hero who ventured into the underworld and back. The new vehicle aims to explore the more remote areas of the ocean floor. Orpheus uses advanced visual navigation technology, similar to NASA's Perseverance Mars rover, to take highly sensitive pictures of rock formations, shells and other features on the ocean floor. This information is used to create 3D maps of the ocean floor, dotted with landmarks, allowing the robot to navigate more accurately and identify places it has previously visited. This technology could also help scientists uncover more about the diverse life forms that thrive in this hostile environment. Scientists have been trying to explore the depths of the Hadal Zone for some time now, but the pressure that far down is intense enough to crush animals not made for such harsh conditions. In fact, the first attempt in 2014 ended in tragedy when the vehicle sent down to explore the Kermadec Trench near New Zealand, called Nereus, burst apart under the immense pressure. However, scientists were amazed to discover life teeming around deep sea volcanoes when a team of US scientists dropped a vehicle named Alvin into the Pacific Ocean to study hydrothermal vents there. They found translucent snailfish, tiny crustaceans and other extremophile species thriving. This discovery led to one of the most widely held theories about the origins of life on Earth, that it sprang from the extreme conditions around these hydrothermal vents deep below the ocean. Deep sea exploration has revealed some incredible discoveries in recent years. Recently, scientists embarked on a mission off the coast of Western Australia and uncovered never-before-seen creatures lurking more than three miles deep in the ocean. The team started their journey in northern Australia's Darwin and headed west navigating a treacherous area of underwater volcanoes that had their peaks emerging from the depths at Christmas Island and Cocos Islands. Armed with specially designed cameras that could withstand immense pressure, the team dove more than three miles down, passing through a layer known as the Twilight Zone between 600 and 3,000 feet below the surface before finally reaching the eerie, dark depths below. The team's cameras captured hundreds of previously unidentified species, including a strange blind eel with gelatinous loose skin that looks like it could have come from the chest of an astronaut in a sci-fi movie, Alien. 
What's even weirder? This mysterious creature gives birth to live young instead of laying eggs, a feature that's just one of the many fascinating discoveries the team made during their expedition. Now hold on tight and get ready to meet the tripod fish, a creature that left scientists in awe. Standing on three long fins that resemble a tripod, this fish is a true marvel of nature. But that's not all that makes it special. The tripod fish is also a hermaphrodite, boasting both male and female reproductive organs that are both fully functional. And although they can't reproduce with themselves, any one tripod fish can mate with any other, making Darwin's theory of evolution come to life in a way that might just make him blush. Joe Rogan expressed his amazement at the unique features of a bizarre squid, particularly its skin, which he compared to pixels on television. He finds the creatures to be strange and unusual, which is not surprising considering the many bizarre and alien creatures that exist in the ocean. As a terrestrial being, he finds it hard to comprehend the strange and fascinating world that exists beneath the ocean's surface. Imagine if you can survive and swim through the deep dark ocean and come face to face with an animal so long that it makes the mighty blue whale look like a tiny guppy. Well, that's exactly what happened to a group of scientists off the coast of Western Australia. They discovered a stringy jellyfish-like creature called a siphonophore that spiralled and stretched for over 150 feet, making it possibly the longest animal in the world. And the best part? It was found more than 2,000 feet down in an underwater canyon, adding to the already weird and wonderful world of Australia's deep sea creatures. Now let's dive deeper into the Hadal Zone where the pressure is so immense that it could crush a submarine like a soda can. But if we can design a vehicle that can withstand the extreme conditions there, it may hold the key to unlocking the mysteries of Europa's vast salty ocean hidden beneath its icy shell. This moon of Jupiter, smaller than Earth but with more water than all our oceans combined, has scientists eager to explore. The challenge is building a vehicle that can withstand the incredible pressure 40 miles down into Europa's ocean, but we are making progress. Orpheus, the underwater robot being developed by NASA, will brave not only the crushing pressure, but also the wild temperature fluctuations found in the depths of the Hadal Zone. With its advanced technology, Orpheus will hopefully avoid the fate of Nereus, which fell apart under the pressure back in 2014. The ocean is not only a vast, unexplored frontier, but also a time capsule of ancient human history. Recently, scientists uncovered a stone fishing weir in Alaska that's over 11,000 years old, revealing that humans crossed the Bering Strait land bridge even earlier than previously thought. With sea levels 400 feet lower at the time, who knows what other human settlements and technologies lie hidden in the depths? Could Atlantis be down there waiting to be discovered? And speaking of exploration, in 2017, NASA launched Subsea, a project that merges space and ocean exploration to study hydrothermal vents in the Pacific Ocean using remotely operated vehicles. Imagine exploring volcanic activity and searching for alien life in our solar system's ocean worlds. Scientists have been studying the Low Ihi Seamount and Gorda Ridge to find similarities to what could be found on Europa and Enceladus. Darlene Lim, a leading NASA geobiologist, is leading the subsea program, which uses remotely operated vehicles to understand the geology and chemistry of these underwater vents and the life around them. The temperature changes in the water coming up through the ground and interacting with the cold seawater provide crucial insights into how we might explore these mysterious ocean worlds in the future. Even as we wait for technology to advance enough to send robots to Europa and Enceladus, NASA is already applying the knowledge gained from deep ocean exploration to prepare for space missions. Furthermore, NASA is embarking on a mission to the Moon's South Pole this year with the Volatiles Investigating Polar Exploration Rover, Viper, to search for ice water near the Noble Crater. The goal is to mine the ice as a resource for rocket fuel or drinking water. Though not an underwater operation, the technical challenges of operating the rover on the moon are similar to those faced by underwater exploration. Darlene Lim notes that they are applying lessons learned from the subsea program to Viper. The subsea program aimed to meet research goals in difficult conditions and prepare scientists to operate in treacherous environments supported by remote teams of colleagues. Viper's team will operate the rover on Earth and analyze data in near real time much like space exploration missions. 
By applying their knowledge of controlling robotic equipment from Earth, NASA hopes to prepare astronauts for a future lunar base. Just as space missions bring new perspectives on our planet, deep sea expeditions are also opening up novel insights into the Earth. According to NASA, their oceanographic investigations have unearthed numerous scientific breakthroughs while also providing information that could be pivotal in preserving the health of our oceans. In order to safeguard our oceans, we must first understand their complex environments, stresses Laura Lorenzoni, an ocean biology and biogeochemistry program scientist at NASA. Every step we take towards exploring other worlds teaches us more about the uncharted territories of our own blue planet. So what mysteries do you think the deep sea holds? Share your thoughts in the comments section and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more fascinating content.